Hi, collective. Um, out here getting grounded, you know, smoking my little cigarette, <clears throat> being authentic. But in the process of me doing so, I am also being led to uh, call out my cousin who knows quite a bit of information about uh, what needs to be revealed to me because the other men in the family are uh, choosing not to stand, step forward and expose themselves to me. I mean, like I said, collective, um, I have no room for judgment for anybody. Everybody has a past and everybody played a part in any type of bisexuality or trisexuality <laughs> or um, any homosexuality. It does not matter to me. Your sexual preference of who you are and your, you, excuse me, confirmation burp, uh, you don't want to expose your true authentic self to me because you are ashamed and you should never be ashamed of who your true character is. Uh, you should have never opt, Vincent, to agree to such acts and deeds if, if you are condemned by operating in them. That, mean that, that, that means that that's not solely who you are. Or if it is, you are manipulating the opposite sex to believe by creating an illusion that you are not bisexual, when in fact you are. I was already given so much insight and detail about your sexuality uh, identity, and it still doesn't move me to judge you or make you feel less than. Like I said, everybody sucks dick. Everybody eats coochie. And not most people, but some people like to eat ass. And maybe you might be one of those people. It's not like I've never experienced my ass being eat, eaten before. I've had my ass eaten plenty of times. There is no conviction within my spirit because it is of my past. And my sexuality is not my true character. So you must be confident within yourself, Vincent. Come forward and tell me the truth. Your sexuality has nothing to do with speaking truth to me. It has no gender, it has no color, it has no religion. It is what you prefer for yourself and others as well. That is the mindset. And you're, you're, you're sabotaging a healing by not coming forward. And the divine showed me a vision that for me to tell you, Vincent, if you do not come forward, you will fall into a dark pit and that pit is hell of purgatory as well as in hell. You will fall into eternal flames and you will be consumed. You will not be able to come out of it or sidestep it. You either come forward confidently, knowing that I'm welcoming you to come forward and tell me the truth and give me that clarity or confirm what the divine already has shown me. I'm not judging you and I don't hate you. Just because I don't rock with y'all does not mean that I'm going or I'm being led to mistreat you or shun you away from me from giving me clarity. If you choose not to, that is your will. But do not judge me and think that I'm going to push you away from me and I don't want to hear from you just because you're your sexual preference. It has nothing to do with it. It really doesn't. I know about you uh, having sex with Tanisha and, and dad, my dad. I already knew. I, and plus, I knew about him lying on you saying that you got Crystal pregnant. Y'all was fucking under the table, yes. But you did not get her pregnant. My dad got her pregnant. And he pushed it off on you and paid you to keep your mouth shut, to take the blame. And his mom, your mom, was in agreement with it. That's the reason why she was so bitter at James Alvin Taylor, because she was forced to do things in the contract that she did not like. She did not like it. Because, again, your mother was also controlling as well. She was a narcissist just like her brother. 
they both chose not to heal and use substance abuse to any extent <clears throat> for self-medication to bear down and take the truth with them to their grave. But the way how the divine works is not the way that we think. You are to expose yourself and it will be exposed before you close your eyes. And even if you do, you're still being led to accept the truth of what was hidden is going to be illuminated. So I don't want you to overthink anything, Vincent. I want you to come forward. I want you to be a real man about your shit. And I want you to tell me the truth about everything that you know to confirm this, these malicious acts that my mother and my father have been performing within the family and that you have been a part of and still is a part of. And if you want to not go to hell and get condemned or be put in purgatory and fall into a dark pit, into a, fi a fire that will consume you spiritually as well as of the natural when you leave your body. You will fall into a rapid sickness that will take you out of here and you will not go up. You will, your ascension will be down. There will be no ascension. It will be a demotion. You're going down when you leave out of your vessel. Down. You have the opportunity for God to shed grace upon you to clear karma from happening to you so bad. Again, like God said in the Bible, even the righteous gets judged. We're protected and he's having mercy on us. But if you do not want to fall from grace, I suggest you to double back in your own thinking of how you, you're, you're receiving. Thinking that if you choose not to come forward and give me any clarity and, and thinking that I'm going to judge you on it it's not it's it's i'm not here to judge you i'm not being led to judge you like i said before everybody's had experiences in their past i just choose not to entertain mine that's the only difference i'm not judging you about what you do who you do it with you're trifling for fucking your own family but it was in the family so i understand also your mind has been warped and 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 why am I thinking body wash? You need to take a spiritual bath. You need to impure your mind, body, and spirit of any attachments, of any entities that you picked up from doing the deeds that you have been doing that are not just or are godly at all. You know that they're not. There, There is no room for judgment or pointing the finger I, I'm not led to be felting or boasting of, of any kind I'm, I'm being led to accept people for who they are and receive the truth and give you that peace within yourself of you worrying about if you come forward that you're going to be revealed not knowing I'm revealing myself as well that is also a part of my fabric that God gave me. I cannot speak truth and only truth and be a true testimony and a vessel for God without me exposing myself. So sometimes we have to come out of our character, step out of the box of the comfort zone and challenge ourselves to do what is right. Speak up and create peace so that you could be graciously forgiven and, and excluded from the rest and not worry about what they are going to accept and what they are, they have no choice but to accept and what they are going to go through. You are being given an opportunity and the light is shed it on you because it is your turn to come forward. And my uncle Stevie, which is your stepfather, wants you to step forward and tell the truth. He does not want you to be a coward he does not want you to operate in your, in your feminine energy. They want you to operate in your masculine energy of what you are, who you authentically are supposed to be, and give the truth. You do not know the outtake of what is going to happen, neither do I. It's not my business. You have to learn how to stay in your own lane. I know that's hard, but 
you cannot be worried about what the next individual is thinking about if you step forward or not because that person is relying on you to stay like in a crabs in a barrel pulling you down so that you won't expose them because then they'll they'll try to flip it on you and say if you open up your mouth you're exposing you so what you're exposing yourself to me and God will give me direction to 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 learn how to deal with you to you don't know God could say don't say nothing about Vincent don't bring him up don't mention nothing else about Vincent because Vincent stood up and he, he became a man. He came to you with courage and against all will of anybody else. And he stepped forward and he gave you the clarity. And I'm excusing him of this blunt blow that everybody else is going to get. Think of it. Take heed. I did not do any offense to anyone. It was all being done to me. It's always been being done to me. The only difference is that I chose to stay woke. And I'm not going to sleep. Never going to sleep on y'all. On anyone. Because this is who I am meant to be. This is who I am truly. This is who I truly am. I am spiritual. I have gifts. So what? I still love. I still smile. I still worry. I still... Uh, feel things I still go through I'm a mom I'm here on this earth I am a earth angel I was sent here to finish out what needed to be done and break generational curses so that I may bring honor to my God not the devil not to man not to women but to represent my God and if that means that I have to represent him, no matter if anybody projects to me any type of doubt or fear because they don't want to be seen, they don't want to be looked at, or they don't want nobody to know who they truly are, you are weak spiritually, which means that you need to heal. If you stay weak and you choose to stay weak and you choose to be in the dark, there's not going to be a good outcome on any turn. I don't want to see y'all go to hell. Some of y'all. But I've, I, I didn't know that you was the ones who was working shit against me. Even though you was working it against me. I'm not being led to be evil. I want to. But that's not how, that's not how God got me to be. I just, I'm, I've healed to the point where I've accepted what y'all did I just want clarity that's all I don't want to hurt you I don't want to harm you I don't want to project anything to you even though you did it to me I forgive and I release you I just want clarity so you can go about your way and I go about mine that's all I want 13 11 as I said that I want to balance it out and God is over all of this that's all I want. I don't want to fight. I don't want to argue. I never wanted to fight or argue. I never wanted to do any of the things of what's happening. But it had to, it had to be stopped. And sometimes that means that when the divine steps in, those reoccurrences of him stepping in, he's pissed. Because he's given time and option and space and opportunity for everybody to come forward and make things right before your time expires and you won't come forward because you're full of fear. You're regaled with it because of what you've done. And I've under, I understand what you all have done. I went through the healing process. It's still not in me to hurt you. I just want clarity so I can move forward. That's all. So, Vincent, please take heed to what I'm saying. Be the better person, the bigger person. Care not about what other people think or say about you or your sexual preference. Because I don't give a fuck. Honestly, I don't. I understand and I'm very, very comfortable with my sexuality. That doesn't make me who I am. That is not my makeup. All right? So take heed, sit back and ponder about it, but don't waste time because time is of essence, all right? 
Have a good day, Collective and Vincent. Think about it. If I have any more messages to give, I will. Have a good day.